stereotypes, the misconceptions of uh, a graffiti writer. Um, it's that we're up to no good, you know. It's a, uh, it's like your first things first. It's a bad thing, right? And I think universally, it is a bad thing. You know, when you actually think about it, as what the whole world and masses think of the word graffiti that has been made in the 80s because of New York and its propaganda with its fucking media pushing. You understand that it's a bad thing because you can tell that people have directed it in that way. But evolution of time, you know, hug, H-U-G, history unleashes genius. Through time you see that, you know, a good could come from this, you know? So, um, that's basically what it is. My name's uh, Elixir Elliot. I'm 31 years old. Um, I paint aerosol art in the city of Toronto. The drive to create for me is more of like a, of a diary. Black canvas to like cardboard on the street on Thursdays that's gonna get th thrown away. My style now comes from just maturity, understanding the game more because that's what art is. It's like uh, it's the game, but at the same time, you gotta be serious. My job description at this point right now would be uh, a freelance illustrator, and that's what I tell my mom because she understands that stuff. But uh, my job description is just a fine artist, uh, trying to make things beautiful, trying to, uh, not trying to find art in everything, but uh, seeing the art in everything and making other people see the art as well. I do mature with my work. I do mature with the characters that I paint, or I should say the other way around, because I create them. They do mature with me because, uh, the same guy I was when I went into Sheridan College. I'm not thinking about it on an animated level anymore. My style now comes from just maturity. The idea behind it is a lot more the just that graffiti train that you just hit, or like, you know, or telling a story about this girl that just left you. It's kind of weird, like the misconceptions are when I'm walking, I'm at a piece and, and I'm painting it and it's great and everything and some lady in her late, late 30s, or she walks by and she's like, oh my goodness, this is so great. You know, you should go to school for this, yeah. And I don't know, it's like, I just think that I, because of how this stereotype of graffiti is, they think that, you know, I'm just scrounging around doing this in a fucking alleyway all the time, and that's actually what I wanna do with it. And at the same time, things progresses, things move on, you know, cats go on to their second album and they use different instruments. Don't be scared, they're the same band. They're just using different instruments, going to a different studio for different sound because they're growing as artists. Please understand this, that graffiti artists do this as well. All the time, my personal experiences come out in my work. That's all I have to grab from, my personal experience. Um, sometimes I like to make it a lot more, a lot less boring than it is. Um, but that's just because life dictates it that way. Because it's really boring, you gotta make it exciting. And at the same time, while you're making it exciting, document it as well, you know? So, I don't know. You only got one, one of these things, you know? So, you gotta use it wisely, but at the same time, have fun.